Plastic Model Builders. Hello, it's me, Ari Stone with Plastic Model Builder, and this is part five of my Tamiya F35A Lightning II in 148th scale. This is the build. So I am finishing up some little instruments here. I painted the tip of that silver. We put this into the nose of the aircraft. Now we have to glue on all the clear parts, or at least most of them, depending on how you're doing your aircraft. This right here is the underside of the nose. Uh, you could see the wheel well off to the side. Just make sure you get all the glue in there. Just like you see here, we now have clear parts on each side of the nose, one here, one on the opposite side, more sensors. So make sure you get those after you get those two. Flip the plane over to the other side. We have another one that goes right here. And notice I've masked all these off already too, as well as a lot of some of the other parts that we've already pre-painted. So there's one sensor, here's another. This is on top of the aircraft. The other one was on the underside. So like I said, there's a lot of these. And then we have this right here, putting the glue. This is the top of the nose right there. Gonna get that. Make sure it looks pretty. Model making madness. Hey, also remember we do a live chat every time we do a premiere. These are the wing tips, by the way, so make sure you get those. We love to talk about the video as we're actually doing it. So start off with, I prime everything first. Got Tommy up white primer. This is the main body of the fuselage. Notice I don't have the wings on, not the wings, but the tail fins or any of that stuff on there yet. I did that for a reason to make masking easier. Yes, sometimes you do a little less because less can be more. And this is one of those instances. So we've got flare flaps, flapperons, whatever you want to call them, wheel well doors, all the things. Now you see here, I did do my model with the bay doors open for the weapons. Here, these are the closed versions. I lightly tacked those on with a little white glue so I didn't have to mask off a little trick because of all the hard work that I put in there. I just used those doors. I can paint them or do whatever. So here, more of those go on the front of the wings. Those are the leading edge. Finally, I remember those are on the rear, by the way. And then we have those right here. Those are your stabilizers or the tail. And then these right here are the tail fins right there. All right, so this is one of the accent colors that goes on the front of the aircraft and around certain parts of the fins that you see here. Get front and back, certain areas. Make sure you do it right. Again, model making madness. Make everything look pretty. Got that little leading edge right there. You got that. I only put on one coat of these, I believe. And if I did two, then I did two. I really don't remember. It's been a while since I've done this aircraft. So we are continuing with the other edge right there from the rear of the aircraft. And then, of course, your tail pieces right here. Doing the front and the back. All right, so going to peel. I'm sorry, not peel mask off. I am using putty right here just to kind of lightly go around this. Less likely to peel paint off. Sometimes it will, but just make sure it's pressed on good and you should get some good adhesion and just go around the area that needs masking. It's pretty defined, so you shouldn't have any trouble. Now we are using a combination of colors that Tommy recommends. I don't think I had the exact colors, but I chose some that came close. So my aircraft, once it dries, does look a little greener than most people's. I am fine with that, it still came out nicely. You see, we're getting the main fuselage here. Just give it some nice even coats, and even if it isn't even, that's okay. It gives the mod characteristics to it. So you know that way it looks kind of like it's weathered or whatnot. That's a good thing about a white undercoat and uneven paint jobs is that it doesn't have to be even, it just gives it a natural look to the aircraft. That's why I like being horrible at painting at times. Anyway, just using my airbrush there, going over the colors. And you see, that's the top of it. You know, just give it a couple of coats on there. One, two, three, 20 coats, whatever you want to do that makes you happy. Uh, we got our pylons right here. If you decide to go into beast mode for this aircraft, which that's the whole purpose of this model, beast mode, make it look really good. Got the, this is the A version that I am doing uh, for the American 
team. So you have a bunch of different versions you can do. And I did the beast mode version with this because I liked it and that's how I wanted to present this model. So we got our tail fins right there getting sprayed. You see I did the masking right there, which is why when I said, hey, I'm going to leave stuff off to make the masking easier, that was it and that's why I did that. So that right there, landing gear well. Here's the side of the aircraft right here. See me doing everything, see I got stuff masked off to the best of my ability. You see where the pylons are gonna go because you got the little holes poked out. And again, this is the underside where you see I am actually going to just go around the areas that don't actually need to get painted. Why? Because I'm not wasting paint on something that doesn't need to get painted. And I just go right around the bay doors because those are only temporarily held in place. The other bay doors will get put onto this aircraft and you will see that in a different video. So remember to subscribe, comment, and like to the channel and get the updates that it gives you so you know when you see a video coming out so you can watch it with me. I currently do videos every other Saturday at 10.30 a.m. in the morning, Eastern Standard Time for the United States, because that's when I like to get out of bed. So this is what it looks like so far. Got some tail pieces right there going on, the stabilizers, not the tail fins. Of course, two of those, get your front and your back, and those go on very easily. Here's the other one, of course. Same stuff different day. I hope you're enjoying this model making man. This was actually a very good model. It went together very well as you can see because once you start painting there's not a lot left to do other than the thousands of decals that you have for the RAM coatings which is radar absorbent material. If you choose to do the decals some people try to buy masks and paint them. You can do it however you want. It is your model. So this is mine. We're going to just finish painting all these little things right here. Flaps, flapperons, stabilizers, pylons, whatever you want to call all these gadgets. I'm pretty sure I've got most of the names right, by the way. So these are them. Not too many of those left. Those right there are for the sidewinders, because you can tell they're very short. They go right on the side of the aircraft as well, and they're kind of actually canted out a little bit. Very interesting when you see this plane. All right, good stuff. Remove masking is coming up, so keep watching. We're just going to go over this little bit of detail right here. And this little bit on the back, whatever's left in my paint gun, I just get it out, airbrush. So we're going to peel off all the masking. And you're going to see the difference in the gray color right there. Stands out a little bit. And then we will do the rest of the aircraft. I got a little wood dowel here. That way I can pick off all of these little, little pieces of tape that they have on all the sensors. There's a lot of them. These ones were kind of hard because they're small, but you see them starting to come out. And just be careful. You don't want to scratch your canopies and your glasses and all that stuff that's what that looks like and you can totally see inside of that so imagine that clear stuff that you could see inside just don't fog it up too bad and as you can see when you use uh, liquid cement it doesn't fog the glass uh, like super glue or plastic cement would it can do that uh, here's the sides I'm going to peel this off and you see more wonderful beautiful colors there that were for the sides of the aircraft and like around the intakes and things like that make those look pretty also we're going to have to get out some of the putty that was used to fill the gear doors because it was just easier to do it that way you see there's the cockpit right there see that rear stabilizer one of the front ailerons flapperons whatever you want to call it there's tail fin right there wheel bay door see all this stuff there's lots of stuff in it here we go putty taking that out model making man it's just be careful with it uh the front one when you take that out be careful not to pull up the uh landing gear on that so this you just took my knife popped off the glue that held everything in place and you can see our bay doors totally unharmed still got a little bit of work to do in there 
This is the front landing gear. Be careful when you pull it off. See how mine lifted up a little bit. We will clip a piece in there eventually. And that's it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, and like. And as always, until next time, see ya.